In the right place, right time. Tonight, we're hearing from the Metro Police officer who says he stopped a man pretending to be an Uber driver with two unsuspecting victims in the back seat. Carly Gordon joins us now with the interview you won't see anywhere else. Police say these two women had been drinking. They thought they were doing the right thing, the safe thing, by getting in the back seat of an Uber and not getting behind the wheel. Little did they know they were putting themselves in serious danger. Officer Bradley Nave was already on the side of I-65 stopping speeders when he says he saw driver Million Tespe break the move over law. So I conducted a traffic stop on that car. With two women in the back seat, Nave thought he was dealing with a Lyft or Uber driver. Then his police instincts kicked in. When I started to ask him a little more questions about what was going on, he started to act nervous um, and started to show some signs that he might be impaired. Neve says eventually Million admitted he didn't work for Uber at all. He'd driven the women in the wrong direction. The car they were in didn't match the car listed on the app. Neve says he has no idea what Million did and didn't have planned. It's, it's the big unknown. He could have had it in his mind to assault them and hurt them. He could have had it in his mind to just steal their money. Um, he could have just had it in his mind that he was going to give them a ride home, but being intoxicated, he wasn't in a safe position to do that. So tonight, a warning. By now, you know to check the apps to make sure your rideshare car is the right make and model. You know to make sure the driver knows your name. Officer Nave suggests taking it a step further. Make up a name and make up a fake name and ask the driver if they're that person. And if they say yes, well, then you know that's not the car you're supposed to be in because they're thinking you're asking the correct name. That driver was charged with DUI and resisting arrest, not allegedly lying about being an Uber driver. That's because that type of charge doesn't exist. Police say it doesn't count as criminal impersonation. Officers say that's something that lawmakers should seriously consider going forward.